Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. In today's episode of What's on the Table, I've got my Flames of War, Late War Hungarians. So, I, um, if you've been following along the last uh, week or two, you might have seen me unbox the Hungarian armor um, get started box or, or, you know, starting army box. And uh, I assembled the models and I decided to try to get these knocked out as, uh, you know, fast as I could and get them on the table. I also ended up 3D printing some models as well to add to my force. So here in front of you I've got a mix of Battlefront and uh, 3D printed uh, models as well. So uh, to kind of give you an idea of what I've done, these are pretty much almost uh, complete. They have um, got their decals, they've got some weathering, so I'm pretty much going to call these guys done and move on to the next batch. Uh, but I thought I'd show you what I've gotten. First up we have these 3D printed Turin tanks. Uh, these are the Turin 2s with the higher caliber gun. They are 3D printed and I think they turned out pretty good. They're not as uh, detailed as the Battlefront models but um, I think they they look pretty solid. I decided to do the camo on them. Um, one because the camo helps hide um, any kind of you know, I think I think it helps any kind of imperfections in the model, just by hiding them, and um, you know I think they they turned out pretty well. So I built basically two platoons of these and an HQ. I know the HQ I think can have two uh, tank units in the the HQ, but um, for now I just did one. So I have seven of those out of the get started or the armor uh, Hungarian armor box. Uh, there were three stugs, so I built those. I really liked the look of these kind of yellow, yellowy ones that were in the rule book. I posted up on the um, Flames of War Facebook page, and the folks that actually painted it from Battlefront responded. They used Tamiya Dark Sand or Dark Yellow. I didn't have that, so I just used Vallejo um, Sand Yellow with a uh, Games Workshop sepia wash and then some highlighting. The decals uh, were from the British uh, Team Yankee decal set. So I just like those big numbers on the side. I just think that's pretty cool. So overall um, you know, I like these. They're kind of interesting in that they don't look like the typical German ones. I mean, they're still kind of the German yellow, but um, they're different enough that I, I was interested in painting them. So there you go. So I have three of those, so one unit of three. And then I've got um, some of these, the Zerinyi. kind of assault guns, the Hungarian homegrown version of the, uh, you know, the Stug. Not a bad tank, uh, similar armor to a Stug, or, or pretty similar armor, same front armor. Um, the gun is 105 millimeters, so this unit can actually act as artillery or uh, in an anti-tank capacity. Basically, I built uh, three of them for one platoon and then one for the HQ, and that's how it comes in the, the uh, Army uh, starter box. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I liked how these turned out. I didn't go with camo for these. Um, I just went with a kind of a basic green, kind of like my Soviets, although this is a different shade of green. Um, I just thought it looked cool. I wanted to show off the tank, so I didn't want a lot of camo on there hiding um, all the cool detail on the tank. And you can kind of see, even with the flat coat, I did end up with some minor silvering on the decals. But really nothing too bad. And it's hard on these uh, side skirts because it's got this uh, kind of great grating texture. But I think it turned out pretty well. 
and on the tabletop you really you know you really can't tell I kind of like the uh, Hungarian symbol the white cross um, you know it kind of looks like the German cross but it's different enough that it's got its own kind of unique thing so I thought it was pretty cool so there you go guys that is uh, pretty much what I've completed on the table this week I've also um, got these guys in a kind of a primed and base coat stage this is the uh, Sasaba Kasaba armored car and this is a 3d printed um, model as well and I printed out some of these which are Toldi T-O-L-D-I I think uh, Toldi 2 basically light tanks so that gives us a scout or a spearhead platoon so basically what I want to do is for the channel I want to do at least two battle reports one with a, uh, a force based on the uh, starter box so basically uh, Zirinyi company which has uh, platoons of these guys, a platoon of Stugs, a platoon of Hetzers, and the Panthers. And then I want to do a, a second list, which is basically a, a company of these guys, the Turins, um, which can actually ha have a lot of cool things in their formation. They can have the light tanks, they can have Panthers or Tigers in their core formation, whereas this company, the Zirinyi company, um, Panthers would have to be a support unit. They wouldn't be part of the formation. So it'll be interesting. But anyway, so to make that happen, to make these guys work as a company, I wanted a, um, I wanted a unit of light tanks as well. So uh, there you go. And then obviously I've got my Panthers and Tigers already painted up in my German camo. Uh, and I've got Hetzers that I've, I can use already. So I'm getting pretty close to uh, uh, playing. Just got to reach out and schedule some games and uh, you know start planning on getting these guys on the table. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's on the Table. I have been having a lot of fun painting these guys. If you like what you see or want more, please do let me know down in the comments below. Also, click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. You can also check us out at Facebook and uh, Instagram at All Miniatures Great and Small. If you like our Flames of War content, please also consider checking out our Patreon, where people get access to a, a battle report exclusive to them every month, as well as early access to a lot of our YouTube videos. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.